don't bark, uh, sea lions do. I said emu, I was told it's pronounced emu. That's according to our many Australian viewers, and I do take their word on it because they're the experts in <laughs> weird looking animals. <laughs> Donald Trump said he could uh, declassify material just by thinking it, and we uh, made a joke, great, now Trump has The Shining, a bunch of you. I guess are fans of the book, The Shining, and the movie, and you said the actual power is, um, is the shine. The Shining is just the name of the book. Here's an example of one of the many things that was written. Uh, the power is called The Shine. It's only the book and movie, which is called The Shining. Also, that's not how The Shine works. You can have mental discussions with other Shine possessors, and you can see visions of the past and future. You can't make things happen. Plus, that's a different big wheel knockoff than the one Danny has in the film. Plus, plus, Danny isn't on his big wheel knockoff in that particular scene. That's the scene where he walks to room 237 and is wearing the Apollo 11 sweater. And I just want to say something about people who are super into the movie The Shining. They're not creepy. <laughs> Don't be scared. Someone comes over to you at the dinner party and talks to, you know, about like intricate details of The Shining. That doesn't mean they're a bad person you should be scared of. Um, we referenced the White House Correspondents' Dinner I did in 2011, and I said, you know, that happened when I was a kid, and one of you kindly pointed out, you were 37 then, that's old as <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Which I looked up, and means laugh out loud. <laughs> the nerve. Uh, uh, we had a joke about a Canadian kid breaking a world record for the most uh, socks put on in 30 seconds and uh, said it was because her dad wouldn't let her touch the thermostat. And the thermostat we showed was in Fahrenheit. And multiple Canadian viewers said that should have been in Celsius. But i just like to say to our Canadian viewers, you can switch now. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> I get it. You held out out of respect. She's gone now. I respect what you did. Um, Elmer's glue, and apologies, is not made out of horse, which we implied during this week's You Burn. Uh, it is made out of polyvinyl acetate, polyvinyl alcohol, and polyvinyl glycol. And this is cool. Um, I looked it up. Polyvinyl uh, glycol, if you don't know, is made of uh, the bones of Shetland ponies. Last week's correction was sponsored by Pizza Hut. And I referenced the fact that based on how well it went and based on the reach of corrections, there would probably be a bidding war to see who this week's sponsor was. We said Jacques Cousteau. We said Jacques Cousteau at a prank show in the 60s on Canal Plus. Uh, Canal Plus uh, did not exist until uh, 1984. Until uh, 1975, in fact, uh, I was told by some of our French jackals, uh, France only had one channel. Only one channel was in France until 1975. And that's why everyone in France uh, uh, has a mistress or mistress. Because, uh, you know, if you'd seen the show that was on that night, you would go, the only other thing you could do is go have sex outside the marriage. <laughs> you'd be watching TV and you'd be like, oh, saint fou des filles. <laughs> uh, le homme de six million dollars. <laughs> uh, fall does not have a solstice. It has an equinox. Spring also doesn't have a solstice. It has a Planet Fitness. <laughs> Baze. <laughs> just stop submitting. You don't get, you just don't get what this is.
I said you could uh, trust uh, Wanda Sykes to the point that if she told you something, uh, you could take it to the grave. Everyone corrected me and said the expression is take it to the bank. I do know what happened, uh, what went wrong. I keep my money in a grave. <laughs> my grandmother's grave. Because, and not to be too sentimental, when I was at her deathbed, she took my hand and the last thing she ever said to me was, I love money! Oh, Donald Trump said people in New York were walking into stores uh, with axes, and we kind of, you know, we made light of it. We were like, what are you talking about? And then it did, it did turn out that someone last week did walk into a New York City McDonald's with an axe. And that's terrifying, so we're not going to make a joke about it. I do want to point out the New York Post headline. Axe-wielding madman runs amok in New York City McDonald's, and nobody was loving it. They walk a very fine line over at the New York Post, where they're like, we want to keep people terrified about crime. Also, we real good at puns. That, of course, um, uh, he was apprehended by a good guy with an ax. Just goes to show you. Uh, a man with an axe, of course, is not um, the scariest thing uh, you could see in a McDonald's. We remember our friend here. Um, so last week, I was talking about uh, this terrifying nightmare, and I said his name was Mac the Knife, which is the song that this character is based on. This is Mac Tonight, and I did, uh, I did verify that is his official name. Uh, that is how it is entered in the Epstein flight logs. If you like French fries, come in my basement. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Um, oh, so um, I'm going to the Steelers Jets game this weekend. We got a lot of Jets fans on the crew. We make a lot of fun of the Jets. Steelers are not particularly off to a hot start this season. And uh, Kenny Coyle, one of the guys in the crew, comes up to me and says, I want to make a bet on the Steelers game. Uh, and I said, uh, sure, uh, whatever, whatever you want, Kenny. And he said, uh, if the Jets win, you got to mention it on the show. I'm like, okay, that well, seems pretty. Might have done that anyway. And he goes, and if the, Steelers, if the Steelers win, I'll wear a Steelers half shirt on the show. Just, uh, I mean, I think Kenny's like wants a certain outcome here. If the Jets win, you give me a firm handshake. Steelers win, I'm putting on my thong. Hey, um, one of the things we talked about uh, in Joke Seth Can't Tell this a couple weeks ago was about how um, some bigoted people were complaining about the new uh, Lord of the Rings and the fact that um, there were black actors uh, playing some of the hobbits, and uh, someone took issue with this. And um, I do want to address all, all the questions uh, that come across our play here, because this is a, is a pretty curious one. Um, so let me see here. If I can break it down and take the time to break it down in a way that maybe everyone can understand. Uh, someone said, so when people have any other complaints on bad casting, rather it be wrong hair or eye color, wrong accent or whitewashed roles, that's all fine. But if people have an issue with black hobbits, they're bigots, yes. <laughs> um, Someone sent this, um, and I noticed it too. Um, 
the new movie Blonde uh, with Anna Darmus. Uh, I, when I was watching, I saw it. Uh, there's a line where uh, there's uh, the great Bobby Cannavale, and he's saying, I don't know if you can see it, but he says, I want to protect you from all these jackals. And uh, someone sent me a screenshot. And I want to just invite all the jackals, if you're ever watching anything where um, somebody says jackal, just take a picture of it and send it to us. And then also, if you could send, uh, if you could write, because I think we're going to edit them all together in like a great big thing. If you could also write, I give you the legal permission to use this. <laughs> so then it's on you. <laughs> um, we. Um, some Danish documentary filmmakers were in the news, and they got interviewed by the January 6th committee, and yesterday we said, God, can you imagine how pleasant it was uh, to speak to a Dane? And someone just wrote, as a Swede, it's never pleasant to talk to a Dane. And um, it's so funny to me, because I have found this to be true, that the countries of Scandinavia are all really to each other. And I went on vacation once, and uh, I started a trip. I was in Sweden, and they said, where are you going to go? No, excuse me, I was in Denmark. They said, where are you going to go next? And I said, Sweden. And everybody in Denmark was like, ugh, why would you go to Sweden? Then I was in Sweden, they said, where are you going to go next? I said, Finland. And they were like, ugh, Finland's the worst. And then when I was in Finland, I was going to go to Estonia. And the Finns were all like, ugh, don't go to Estonia. But then I didn't go to Estonia, because I was with Colin Jost, and he got so fing hungover that we, he was too hungover to get on a ferry to Estonia. So I've never seen Estonia, because of Jost, old America's sweetheart. <laughs> so I've never seen Talon, but he gets to be married to an Avenger. <laughs> Pfft, life. <laughs> um, we have been hearing uh, from our uh, international jackals how upset they are that uh, the NBC store uh, won't ship internationally. Um, now, in uh, NBC's defense, we're a very new company. <laughs> I'm sure the kinks will be worked out eventually. But um, this is very exciting. I'm gonna, uh, we're going to do a contest. Um, if you live in a foreign country, I, uh, send, I'm going to give you an address. Uh, send a postcard, uh, but it has to be a postcard from your country, like with a picture of something in your country. It has to have the, the, the post stamp. Uh, whatever it's called, yeah, right? What? Postmark, excuse me. Don't interrupt. Um, <laughs> I was gonna get there. <laughs> hey, I'm part of corrections too. <laughs> All next week, that was my favorite one. <laughs> So uh, send a postcard, International Jackals. Send a postcard, it's gotta have the postmark, and you have to write on it, all you have to write on it, obviously we need a return address, because if you win the contest, we're gonna send you a jackal mug. Um, you have to write uh, in your native tongue, if you'd like, uh, I am a jackal and I don't deserve your kindness. And you can send that to uh, right here, P.O. Box uh, 4748, New York, New York, uh, 10185, and uh, we'll do a drawing. Uh, and maybe you'll be a lucky international jackal uh, to get a mug. Um, well, this was, uh, I mean, other than that one interruption, I think pretty good. Um, I think, you know, if you're rooting uh, for the Steelers this weekend, ask yourself what it is you're hoping to see. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next week.